The Quran draws attention to a very important geological function of mountains. We placed firmly embedded mountains on the earth so that it would not move under them. As noticed, it is stated in the verse that the mountains have the function of preventing shocks on the earth. This fact was not known by anyone at the time the Qur'an was revealed. It was in fact brought to light recently as a result of the findings of modern geology. According to these findings, mountains emerge as a result of the movements and collisions of massive plates forming the Earth's crust. When two plates collide, the stronger one slides under the other. The one on top bends and forms heights and mountains. The layer beneath proceeds under the ground and makes a deep extension downward. That means that mountains have a portion stretching downwards as large as their visible portion on the earth. In a scientific text, the structure of mountains is described as follows. Where continents are thicker, as in mountain ranges, the crust sinks deeper into the mantle. In a verse, this role of the mountains is pointed out through a comparison with pegs. Have we not made the earth as a bed and the mountains its pegs? Mountains, in other words, clench the plates in the earth's crust together by extending above and beneath the earth's surface at the conjunction points of these plates. In this way, they fix the earth's crust and prevent it from drifting over the magma stratum or among its plates. Briefly, we may liken mountains to nails that keep wood pieces together. This fixing function of the mountains is defined in scientific literature with the term isostasy. Isostasy means the following. Isostasy, general equilibrium in the Earth's crust maintained by a yielding flow of rock material beneath the surface under gravitational stress. This vital role of mountains that was discovered by modern geology and seismic research was revealed in the Qur'an centuries ago as an example of the supreme wisdom in God's creation. We placed firmly embedded mountains on the earth so that it would not move under them. In one of the verses, we are informed that the mountains are not motionless as they seem, but they are in constant motion. You will see the mountains you reckon to be solid, going past like clouds. Such is the artistry of God, who disposes of all things in perfect order. Surely He is aware of what you do. This motion of the mountains is caused by the movement of the Earth's crust that they are located on. The Earth's crust sort of floats over the mantle layer, which is denser. It was at the beginning of the 20th century when, for the first time in history, a German scientist by the name of Alfred Wegener proposed that the continents of the Earth had been attached together at the initial phases of the world but then drifted in different directions and thus separated as they moved away from each other. Geologists understood that Wegener was right only in the 1980s, 50 years after his death. Discovered as a result of the geological research carried out at the beginning of the 20th century, this movement of the Earth's crust is explained by scientists as follows. 
The crust and the uppermost part of the mantle, with a thickness of about 100 kilometers, are divided into segments called plates. There are six major plates and several small ones. According to the theory called plate tectonics, these plates move about on Earth, carrying continents and ocean floor with them. Continental motion has been measured at from one to five centimeters per year. As the plates continue to move about, this will produce a slow change in Earth's geography. Each year, for instance, the Atlantic Ocean becomes slightly wider. There is a very important point to be stated here. God has referred to the motion of mountains as a drifting action in the verse. Today, modern scientists also use the term continental drift for this motion. Unquestionably, it is one of the miracles of the Quran that this scientific fact, which has been recently discovered by science, was announced in the Quran.